guys. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Freedom Friday. I decided to get on, and I had already did Thursday and Friday, but I decided to get on and have a day of freedom and love and gratitude. I am so grateful for everybody that has come into my life, whether it's brief or it's just there all the time. And I started a gratitude book a while back and I share that with you. I had little lists of just little things that I needed that I just, you know, you talk about these things you need all the time and you want to do and then you just don't. You just put it on the back burner and say, well, someday it'll happen. We decided not to wait for some days anymore, just to build our little kind of mellow world, just uh, in doing our own thing. You know, people are tired and they're just not ready to keep going like this. I mean, this this world is kind of topsy-turvy right now in 3D and all of us kind of want to escape to the 5D, but we have to really work on ourselves. Uh, someone was impressed with me the other day, uh, Kenny. Um, it's an I-N-A Kenny, but I'm not sure, you know, which one it is, if it's I-N, Ina or Kenny. But they had mentioned something that we connected and we manifested together because that's what we're doing. Uh, sometimes we see this person like me on, on YouTube or Facebook or something. We really don't know that person. We don't know a lot about them. They don't share a lot with us, but they look like a good person. They look like I would like them, you know? And then all of a sudden, because it's it's pulling you in, that feeling that you know them, that you would get along with them, that they're kind of in your soul tribe, and you'd get along with them. You pretty much know really quick if you're, uh, if you're reading energies, which I do. And... Um, yeah, so I'm going to read you some things that I wrote in my gratitude journal. <coughs> and I've been writing it for quite a while. Uh, let's see, when did I start it? 9-3, there's one. 9-12. Yeah, I try to keep um, the dates kind of going into. Uh, I wrote this on 10-6 of 2024, uh, which was a 15, which was a 6. You know, people can't explain why I see things the way I see things because it's unusual and it's kind of out of the norm. Um, for tarot readers, uh, tarot readers are channelers. Uh, either they're reading the cards and feeling the energy, the cards are telling them things to say, and they say it too <coughs> in a different perception because there's different perceptions for everybody. Oh, that coffee tastes good. I've got that cream stuff on top. Mm. But anyway, I just felt so grateful today. I did. I said to my husband, oh, man, we have been through three hurricanes in a, less than a year and a half. We've lost so many people for death. And just it's just been a whirlwind. And I'm thinking it's been a whirlwind in everybody's life. The change is like drastic. Uh, be the change you want to see. We got to remember that because we've got to really work on ourselves. This now I wrote this on 10-6 of 2024. The storm keeps coming and we just keep riding the wave. Grateful for safe harbor in the storm. And yeah, we did have safe harbor in the storm. So blessed to experience the, the evolution of change and i know we're going into the evolution of change nothing seems normal when you're living in that 3d aspect of life it just feels like i'm out of place now uh, i'm just not really there there anymore um does it get easier as we ride out the storms no it gets harder to make us stronger I find myself reflecting on my life. Choices were made and redirected on my journey. Grateful for my life with a heart. Change the code. Be conscious, creator of yourself. Break the code. Shift your perception. Rewrite the code of your reality. 
I channeled that stuff. And I really feel that that was an important message for the collective today, because we are all going through our, sometimes our own little hell or our divine timing and we're going good or we're not going good or we're balanced out. Realizing you are, you are aware you are the dreamer. Remember, we are the dreamer of our reality. Wake up. It's the ultimate cheat code of our life. It is within you. It is a way it always has been. Realizing you are the dream. Craft your own story, conscious creation. Embarking on a journey right as if things have happened. When doubt, rewrite it. Treat it. Remind yourself you are the author. Journey of awakening. Become who you truly are. Just be you. I needed to read that to you guys. I guess that's something that's going to trigger someone else. Um, on 10 11 of 2024, I wrote, You are both the dreamer and the dream. You can change it at any time. Grateful for life. I am just feeling so blessed. And on 1013, I wrote gratitude for life, magic prayer card, achieve and thy will be done through ritual of prayer and meditation. My heart is full of love, thankful for everything in my life. Feel your energy within. Thank you for showing me that this issue is already solved. See, we, we want to feel like it's already done. We want to say that I already have money in my account. We want to say I have water to drink, uh, anything, even small things uh, that could help you, that you need during the day. Write them down. Uh, on 1018, beautiful blessings flowing through my heart. Abundance flows to me. Grace touches my heart. Blessings, healing, med beds for complete body, mind, spirit, cleansing, healing, energy, sound, and light. And that's what I wrote today. So there is a lot of things that are going through my mind and a lot of gratitude. And when I first started the book, this was my manifesting list. And it's just things I needed, just things in like like a new air conditioner or new patio canopy, you know, just stupid things, kind of thing, but things that I need. And uh, I put feeling grateful on my YouTube channel. I can be just me and gra gratitude. See, on my channel, I can be just me. In my real life, I'm just me, but you have to kind of around people, certain people, you have to kind of walk on eggshells. You've got to know when to observe and when to speak. Um, but yeah, and all of it except a couple things are checked. That means they're not, they haven't manifested yet. And look at those. This is, this is what I write. Uh, if you write it down, okay, uh, it will come to you. Thank you with blessings and hearts. <laughs> and I put down here blessings in my life. Popper, little sister, Ziggy, and Donnie. Those are our three fur babies and my husband. And travel with like a little spaceship here and money flows to you. Uh, 369, Tesla free energy, blessed and, and gratitude. Illusions fade away as the truth comes into focus. Grateful for my life. So everything is just, I mean, it's it's going to be the Fonny D book when it's all over with. And it's going to be Fonny D's magical journey. <laughs> Uh, and it's been really up and down. And my husband says to me, we have never lost so many people in one area that have passed away before. And it, it's hard. That is a gut punch. But, you know, we know that they're going somewhere, another dimension, and they're still going on their journey. So it's not as hard when you look at it that way, but it's still hard. You still miss them. Uh, I'm having my coffee, which I would love to be talking to a beautiful friend of mine that passed away as soon as I got to Florida. She was, 
she was my gal pal for whew, years, <laughs> like 30 something years, and she passed. That was really hard. So there's some, and Lucky, who just passed, Lucky just passed away, and he, he was a big, big part of our world. He, we loved Lucky so much. So anyway, um, we have to take the good and the bad. We have to balance ourselves. Uh, you know, these cards come out, but I really didn't want to read a bunch of stuff because we already know things. So I'm just like, today's the, eight, the 18th, 10, 18 of 2024, which is uh, an 18, it goes down to a nine. Okay. So when we got set boundary lady avalon and she's an 18 which is today uh we have to take heed on these cards having a clear boundaries guarding your time and being able to say no is an honoring of yourself and will protect you from burnout resentment and despair you don't hopefully you don't hopefully need the wield a sword to defend yourself but it is vital that you put limits on your time and set boundaries on your personal space and energy. Yeah. Uh, and she's she's taking her time. She's had enough. She needs some time. We got the solitude card the other day and we got a number 31, which is a four. And it's seek balance. Overwhelm. I know people are very overwhelmed out there. I, we get, me and my husband have went through three hurricanes and we are very overwhelmed. We have lost just about everything that we created together when we moved down to Florida and now it's going to get better. It's just going to get, I'm just going to say it out. It's going to get better. And they were, they were hard learning lessons because we were basically thought we were at the top of the mountain, but yet we woke up and we're looking at the bottom of the mountain and things had changed. Overwhelmed and juggling too many things right now. Clarify and prioritize to bring peace and harmony in your life in a world of stress and confusion, of constantly juggling commitments, workloads, and self-imposed pressures. Balance can seem always just out of reach. You know you'll work on what you need to just as soon as you finish this project. Make the dead, make that deadline. Catch up on outside commitments. Hear back from that person. But you can't keep waiting for the perfect time because it will never come. You need to take steps to deal with the overwhelm or you'll drown in all the busyness. Yeah, I completely agree with that. We need to... Seek balance and set boundaries. And that's a must. I've, I've had people, you know, talking to somebody else and I overheard them and they said, well, I'm setting boundaries for myself. But then they go and trample on the person's boundaries that they just said they're setting boundaries for. So you got to really think about your boundaries and what you're saying to somebody. And if you are, you know, using their boundaries too. Okay. Now. We are going to start with the Soul Helper Oracle, and just because it's a three, which is this, this because I'm here today, this is like a snapdragon moment. It's like I snapped, and I'm here, and um, this is why. There's somebody that needs to hear this, maybe me, maybe somebody else, but I felt I had to come on and just feel joyful today. We have to stop once in a while, and just give thanks and just be at peace. Awaken the magic of your creativity. Immerse yourself in the world of feelings. That's interesting that that card said that. Dive deep. And I just said we were diving, we were swimming through the tides and diving. You know, it just, it, it's amazing how these things come out like that. It's just unlike Lord and shit. <laughs> Dive deep into the core of your emotional world where a special alchemy lies hidden. Surrender completely to the magic of your feelings and discover deep within you an irresistible creative light that is ready to create beauty. Your feeling, no, no reason. Rules or barriers, they are like water. Simply streaming and flowing over all obstacles or carrying them along in their wake. The time has come to take control of your emotions, but 
without building walls or imposing limitations. Bring calm and serenity to your innermost feelings so that you can find and make use of the magic that lies within. Once you have brought calm into this world and mastered it, allow your feelings to govern your soul path. Sense this path and feel it, then follow it as it is the path of your heart, the path of your pure feelings. Surrender completely to life and to the creative deep within you. Use your imagination, be expressive, dance and sing, laugh and play. Free yourself. Some might think you're foolish or totally naive or indeed laugh at you, but they will recognize the wisdom of your actions in the end. The path of the soul is the path of the heart. To it lies in a dimension that our minds are unable to comprehend. Why can't we comprehend it? Because we have been indoctrinated on this journey through earth school. And we have to level up and rise above that because we are so much more than that. I really enjoyed this card right now. Uh, your helpers for the next 21 days, the power animals, the koya. Herbal essence is lotus. Healing crystal is moonstone, and the number is three. My husband bought me a moonstone for Christmas because for some unknown reason, I kept saying, I want a moonstone. So he went and had me pick it out, and there are two rings on there. So the moonstone really tends to calm me down, although I have all my other crystals sitting here in front of me. So I'm looking into something else that I, I'm interested in doing, and I'm not going to let you in on it yet because it'll be a surprise. But we're going to read the number three because, uh, you know, I can't stress it enough. It is the divine talking to us. Number three indicates that now is a good time to take care of your soul families, both in this world and in others. Make contact and tell them that you love and need them. They will hear you. You will find strength, healing, and answers among those closely connected to you. This number teaches you to look at everything, to become an observer, and wisdom will come. Number three's energy field brings about diversity, creativity, creative energy, the overcoming of duality, and understanding and seeing the world of the divine. <laughs> oh. We couldn't have got a better friggin' card. Seriously. Oh, my goodness. Today is the 18th. It's a nine. Set boundaries was an 18. It's a nine. Three, one is a four. Uh, seek balance. And then three, the awakening of the magic of your creative. Imm immerse yourself in the world of feelings. So with that said... I have two cards that I have to see which way spirit wants me to go with these cards. Okay. Think about emotions when we get to that other card because spirit wants me to do this card, these cards. And I want you to remember as, as they're in order from what how they come out because that's how I read these cards I don't shuffle them I don't mix them up I shuffle them but I don't mix them up when they come out okay I take them as they come this is embrace the dark and this isn't telling you to go out and be uh all darkness this is embracing the dark that comes along and uh like the dark night of the soul we have to embrace those learning experiences. I know they seem really bad. I get that. Look at what we went through. And people will say, how in the heck did you go through it in a fifth wheel camper? We rode the wave. <laughs> we flowed. We loved our home and didn't want to leave. And it doesn't matter how big or small that home is. It's, it's still your home. It's your comfort spot. You have been taught that all is either good or evil, negative or positive, that good gives rise to good and bad gives rise to bad. It is wrong to have feelings of anger, dislike, or fear. 
as these emotions are born of our shadow self. This is not truth. Everything happens for a reason. Love can give rise to destruction and hate, can inspire act of genuine love. The lessons offered by our shadow often teach us the most. Know your shadow self. Love it without the darkness. The stars cannot be seen. I really love that. And, you know, there's stars all over. She's got her black cat. And I had a black cat. And I felt so blessed with that cat. Uh, she's got her little magical self over here. And I'm thinking her little inner child here. And she is taking the lessons that the dark is bringing to her. See, we think of dark as a horror movie because that to us would be dark or a bad dream. But this is not a horror movie. This is embracing your darkness, the things that you have to embrace to get over. It doesn't make sense sometimes unless you say it a few times. But if you think about what I'm saying, it, it will make sense. The first thing that I did was start meditating and going through the dark night of the soul. And that was a blessing. <laughs> uh, the next card that we got was obs observe in silence. This is telling you, okay, you're working or working on ourselves. We're going through the dark night of the soul. And we're seeking balance in our life because we're overwhelmed. We need to awaken to the magic of your creative. And you need to set boundaries. So this is telling us everything. Now we're setting boundaries. We are seeking balance. Okay. We are awakening the magic of our creativity. And we're embarking, embracing the dark. Now we're observing in silence. We're meditating and praying. Meditation and prayer is the same thing, folks. If you're meditating in bad, that's not so much good. I mean, we have to have the duality and the, you know, the polarity, but don't always stay in a dark, dark place. Uh, you got to rise above it a little bit and you've got to, you know, sometimes observe and find and, and learn things. Now is not the time to be the life of the party, nor to step forward into the role of leader or teacher. Be cautious. It may not be wise to draw attention to yourself or to reveal your plans to others at this time. Instead, be silent. Step back. Be still. Watch those around you and be mindful of what you see, hear, and feel. Trust in your instincts and intuition and let them guide your steps. Yes. Uh, when I was awakening to the magic of my creativity and I was embracing the dark side, the shadow side, I also did a lot of silence and observed. And that's when I did a lot of meditation. And as I was silent and observing, it was coming clearer to me because we have to seek our destiny. And that cat is telling you, the unknown is beautiful. I'm fine. I'm halfway in a dimension and halfway out of a dimension. This is going to the fifth 5D with everybody. This cat feline does not want to stay behind. It's ready. It's like, come on. I'm here. Look at source up there. We're going into the unknown. To live. To create our beautiful world of the unknown. Seek your destiny. You have purpose and reason for being. You could have one or even several destinies. Are you afraid to believe in destiny because others may laugh? Don't be. It could be as simple as taking moment, a moment to look within and discover those things that you love most passionately and to bring them out into the light. But you will never know if you are afraid to step through the doorway and see what's on the other side. Trust that everything you hope and dream of will be there waiting for you. Oh, I love that. 
Yeah, because that is, that's the secret. That's the code breaker. Uh, that's why I come on today, because even though I wasn't observing as I should have, because I have a lot going on in my world, everything I'm getting in the cards is helping me out. It's saying, don't worry, Fawn, I know you're busy. I know you've got things you're doing and you're working on yourself, but you have to show up. You have to go on Freedom Friday and tell these people that, and your soul family, you were born to create. And that's this card. With the beautiful light coming out of the black egg, the, the, the it's like we're it's like we're hatching. It, it's literally oh my gosh! This I gotta read this card so I don't break my concentration, but. I'm looking at these cards, folks, and it is just telling us it's it's laying it out how we break the code of the three three D matrix. And look at the energy on this beautiful thing. This is like a dragon. You were blessed with the ability to create with thought, intention, action, and emotion. Be conscious of your power and aware of what your actions and reactions create within and around you. Cherish this gift and use it in both a wise and productive manner. Create beauty and inspire a desire within others to do the same. Create a future that both fulfills and delights. Do what you were born to do. Now, I couldn't have picked them out better myself. I, I really couldn't because this is just like a remarkable moment. I mean, people, you just don't realize it. My heart is going, you, you're doing it. You're really doing it, Fawn. Good going, girl. I have to give myself a pat. Sometimes I'm out here and I'm, I'm making room to videotape. I'm taking my time. And sometimes it feels like, yeah, they're just, they're just not creating anything. You know, they should be messaging me and telling me it's great. And this, and I have a few that message me, but a lot of people are kind of staying back and observing, and that's okay, too. I, I get you. I I'm cool with that. Now, we're going to do a little tiny recap, because this right here was an amazing reading. Okay, And then we'll go to this one, because I'll fit it into the recap. Today is the 18th, which is a nine. We got set boundaries, number 18. It's a nine. Four, 31, four, seek balance when you're overwhelmed. Awaken the magic of your creativity. Immerse yourself in the world of feelings. So that's emotional. That's emotional right here. This knows it's seeking balance with the flames and she is setting boundaries that's the start of it and then as you're here as you're working on yourself and immense in your your creativity you're going to go in the you're going to go for a walk and go through the dark night of the soul to help yourself these have stepped aside and the moon is out and the beautiful woman, wise woman, leveled up woman, is telling you to experience your dark side, learn from it. And then after you're done with that, observe. We're seeking our destiny, and it's through the unknown. But we're a little leery because we're not sure about it but when you look at it and this you were born to create so if you didn't walk through the dark night of the soul okay and you didn't observe things seek your destiny so that's what you're doing you're awakening let me redo this you are awakening to the blessings that you were born to create. Wow. 
Okay, now we got the emotions. You know, we've got emotions going on right now. So that would that would bring in the practical magic spirit oracle. Because we did get a 38, which is an 11, which is a master number. And it says honoring the flow of all the emotions, E motions, alchemy, processing, sensitivity. We have a lot of emotions and we need to let them out. Work. Ask yourself why you are bound still to that emotion and look at it through your dark night of the soul and release it. My emotions are honored, processed, and healing. Emotion, energy in motion. Emotions must be allowed to express, flow, and transmute, not be neglected, overflowing, or left stagnant. Navigating emotions, and emotions is spelled like that, E with a minus sign, motion. That's interesting. It's evolving the emotion. Navigating emotion can be tricky, but above all else, they must be honored. They must be processed. They must be respected. This doesn't mean that we give into the whims of every emotion we feel. We still have a responsibility to use our emotion feels while the intuition knows. Get curious about them. Where is it coming from? Why am I feeling this? How can I better move through it? If you are sensitive, you must protect yourself from getting lost in the chaos of emotions. It can be too much. Sometimes they can send us spiraling into deep despair or joyful naiveness. We must find the balance of the body, mind, and soul. We must learn emotional intelligence. This is why writing can be beneficial in making sense of our emotions. Words are spells. Writing can help us organize both our thoughts and our emotions. Soothe ourselves back into balance. Understand and release them along with tears. The help and help us figure out how we can best move through them and decide the right action to take. Pulling the emotion card tells you there is a flow that needs to happen. Something internal is affecting our eternal world and is calling to be processed so we can live our fullest and most enriched life. What action can you take to transmute it? Through the power of spellcasting or writing, find out what action will be best served you in the alchem alchemization of your emotions. Light a candle, grab a journal, and ask spirit for guidance. This could simply be a release, crying, screaming into a pillow, opening up to a loved one. It could be doing something physical, exercise, dance, yoga, or something expressive, writing, creating, singing, whatever art modality you use. Also, this is a process, not a one-time thing, so it could be a regular activity you may benefit from. Finally, your emotions should be addressed on an individual level. Different emotions may need different actions. We have to remember when we're going through the balancing and the set and boundaries here, people, and we're embarking on this journey right there. We are going to have a lot of emotions. I had a lot of emotions. I cried a lot. I screamed a lot. I talked to myself a lot. But then I came to the conclusion that I am more powerful than I really think. I don't have to hang on to that stuff. I can release it my own way and it's okay to release it your own way uh that was really that was really pretty crazy because 
I'd never got that card before. And that was really interesting because that card right there talked about everything I just said, just about <laughs> kind of balanced it out into perspective and just like crazy. Okay. I need a little bit of coffee. This has been an interesting reading guys. I advise, uh, You know, we got 21, 21. We got two 21s, which is another three. We also got that three. So we got three threes. And we got a lot of nines. So I would look into the dream uh, oracle for that. Now, this is the, this was like a start. This is telling us how we're going to get to this. We got the enchanted map oracle. And it, it, when I seen this, I was like, you got to be kidding. Storm fields. An uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that you, you've left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Pent up energy needs released. Just as a storm in nature must break, for these events occur when the electricity between opposite forces stir things up and creates temporary disorder. Not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seed to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be ensured. Just remember that Whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to shake things up a little. Yeah, we've been through the storms and there's a little mushroom and a bumblebee and some flowers on this path. And then... There's the checkerboard in the storm. Then we got for the clarifier. Get the world. And the world was reversed. She came in like this. So she's laying upside down on her head. Lack of closure, lack of achievement, feeling incomplete, emptiness. You may have achieve <coughs> many things but you feel a sense of emptiness or dissatisfaction you have all the pieces but they don't seem to fit together in a meaningful way you may be feeling increase increasingly tempered to give up on what you have started and leave things unfinished perhaps you are resistant to change Feelings that you are not yet ready for new experiences. Oh, excuse me. Um, there, there's something you're not ready for. Uh, some kind of experience that you're not, you're not ready for because it, it, it's a warning. And the world card is a three. It's uh, twenty one. So you have your, your, someone's blocking themselves. Uh, they're having a hard time believing things. I get it. I really do. Because sometimes I didn't believe what was coming out for me and what I was into. Because we got the storm fields. We got the world upside down. We have some issues with that. Uh, and 54, which is another nine. Look up the angel number nine. We have uh, encouragement. Somebody is procrastinating and feels like they have, they need some encouragement to get up off the couch. Throw the potato chips away. Get up off the couch and be you. This card tells you that you are being gentle, encouraged to step into your power into the dream of your life, new things are out there to be explored. 
And the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help you need and won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path. Keep going. That was good. I like that. And we also got the nine of pentacles. I should have looked up the angel number for nine, but I can read the nine out of the soul helper or oracle, which we know it goes into itself. Nine keeps going into itself. Nine of Pentacles was reversed. It's a clarifier for the encouragement. Being guarded, living beyond means, material instability, reckless spending, super, superficially. The, net, the Nine of Pentacles reversed tells the asker to evaluate their life and what is no longer aligned with their vibration and sense of self-worth. They may have recently gone through a period in which they questioned themselves and their, their value. Reckless, hasty, and even stupid actions are possible when the questioner is not only deaf to the prompts of their own soul, but also neglects common sense. Oh, somebody is missing their common sense. She's got three birds flying around her up there. Because the birds want her sunflower seeds. And she's like playing with the bird, but the bird doesn't want to be played with. The bird wants her sunflower seeds. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I'm thinking the storm, the fields, the encouragement. Now, now, you can't have my sunflower seeds. Okay, now we got a 36, which is interesting, and 36 came in upside down, reversed, and this is commitment, came in like this. So there's a blockage in commitment. You may be walking into a commitment or contract you will later regret. This isn't a good time to sign agreements or make any choices that would be, would tie you up for a long period. If you're in a relationship, you may not receive the commitment you desire. Don't despair, for something much better awaits you. Now is also the time for agreements to be broken. Remember that rejection is God's protection. What hurts you now leads you to wisdom later. Ooh, I like that. Now is also the time for arrangements to be broken. Remember that rejection is God's protection. What hurts you now leads to wisdom later. I got to read that later to Donnie. That was a good one. And that's a nine again. Okay. We got a clarifier for that one. And it is the two of wands. And she didn't come in reversed. Planning, first steps, making decisions, leaving comfort taking risks the two of wands card means that you are be beginning to envision your objectives and long-term goals before you set out to achieve them in summary the two of wands meaning revolves around making decisions in other words you are either satisfied with your current knowledge or you are moving forward and taking risks we just talked about that. That's basically kind of like uh, the crone type. You know, she's standing in her zone. This woman is looking at the world with lights around it on her bicycle, looking up at it like. Uh, I got to contemplate here. What am I going to do? And the last card in the Enchanted. Oracle, map oracle was the field of dreams, and it's a 21, which is another three. This was an amazing reading, guys. That's why I didn't want to wait. When I did this reading, I was going to do it for, like, suddenly Saturday and soul surfing Sunday, and I said, no. I have to tell them about my gratitude, my dream journal, my manifesting, and give them some ideas on how to work on themselves and do the things that I have went through and they've got to go through in their own way. 
but they can, you know, you can you utilize things how I looked at it and took it, but you are going to go through this alone, but your soul family will be in the background. If you need any help, message me. You know how to get a hold of me. Field of dreams. Your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs are always engaging the vast field of pure potential. This is the perfect time to harness the field of vast potential, not yet realizing in your life great abundance is yours if you're willing to do the work alongside the gentle gardener. Be clear about your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Concentrate on your best life regardless of the temporary outer conditions imposed upon you by the greater world, which has its own story to tell. You have a basket full of seeds that are quite powerful, for your talents are divinely inspired and will indeed lead to a great harvest to be shared with others. You will reap what you have sown, dream big, dream beautiful, take action, and tend to the garden of your life and experience the extraordinary. Boom. I love that. We started with a three. We ended with a three. I love that. I, I really love that because peeps, peeps, go back and listen to this a couple times because I am. That's uh, seriously. Wow. What a reading. What a reading. And we did get one extra clarifier. Oh, no, no. This was the special card that I always pull. And uh, this come up. I dr use dreams of Gaia because this is like somebody's asking a question and this is what's answering it. Okay. This is a collective question. So think about what I'm saying in this card. And this card is a 13, which is a four. And it's a queen of earth. Look at that. Touch, connect, and create with your hands. Be supported and nurturing. Seek out a motherly role model and need for wise and honest counsel. Kindness is required. You are loved and supported. Mother, do not smother. Share the responsibilities. The Queen of Earth symbolizes a real, authentic Earth Mother. Personally, personality, she is larger than life and possesses an abundant, generous, and grounded nature. She is real, realistic but also sees magic everywhere. She is an earth mother who spends a great deal of time covered in soil, and it is not known for her to walk about oblivious to the leaves and twigs in her hair. She adorns create, creating a warm and inviting home where all are welcome, cooking, cleaning, gardening. These are the things she loves, and she enjoys them all, the more because of her tact tactical and sensual nature she is a woman who loves nothing more than using her hands to touch and connect and create the queen of earth is the epimum of kindness she will offer support and nurture you every endeavor while also offering you wise and honest counsel she comes to ask if this is how you see yourself or have you been so focused on business undertakings and career that you have created a, you have created an imbalance in your life and disconnect from your true nature. It is time for you to enjoy the benefits of being a homebody for a while. Maybe a home cooked meal or a weekend out in the garden is on the agenda instead of meeting and reports. The Queen of Earth may also appear in your reading at times when you find yourself in need of a gentle reminder to be both nurturing and supportive of those around you while you encourage and support others in their desire to better themselves remember to do so without trying to change them in her role as wise woman she may be asking that you seek out those who embody her energy perhaps there is a need for you to connect with a motherly role model at this time maybe all you need is a hug but you may also be facing issues that her fertile mind and natural wisdom can help you with. A little motherly advice may unlock an answer and provide a solution. I really like that. And
That is so weird. Okay. Just being weird, I need coffee. Ah. Uh, I have two clarifiers for this, but I have one that came up with this. And I use the Oceanic Tarot, and I've got the Queen of Swords. So we got the Queen of Earth. We got the Queen of Swords res resilience, which that makes me feel like uh, having breakfast with my mother and getting opinions about how I should move in a way I should move that motherly love and then go out and be resilient as she spoke of. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, this is the queen. Be prepared to make a strong decision or to respond to a final decision made by a woman. Interesting. But we did get also the judgment card 22 and so this is how <laughs> i don't remember this card being out here but it is and it's not reversed and i want you to hear what i'm gonna say self-evaluation awakening renewal purpose reflection reckoning Wow, uh, this is renewal of love, making adjustments in relationships, finding career purpose, accountability at work, reflecting on financial habits, reflecting on your values. The judgment card reminds us that we all will be faced with choices that will have an astounding effect on our entire life. The card brings to mind a moment where actions you have taken have changed the course of your path for good. I love, I'm glad I did this reading today. And I've got one more card, one more finale, the golden future. And we got a three, 33. So it's a three and it's unicorns, spread the light of unicorns. Is that creativity? Is that dreaming? Unicorns spread the light of the unicorns. Unicorns can take any shape, but are often seen as diamond white horses with a horn of enlightenment spiraling from their third eye. They enter the universe through the stargate of Lyra, which is overseen by Archangel Christiel. In the golden fifth dimension future, these illuminated beings will play an important part in keeping the frequency high and pure. They will keep, they will circle the planet pouring in light wherever it is needed. Every single person will be aware of their need. Oh, okay. Pouring in light wherever it is needed. Every single person will be aware of their unicorn who will always be with them, constantly touching them with wisdom, healing, love, joy, and peace. These pure white beings will download spiritual information directly into people so that the new golden age can blossom and expand. During full moon, the unicorns will shower extra high frequency blessings of love, perfect health, and ascension qualities over humans and animals. At these times, they will work with healers, so that deep soul healing can take place. In the golden future, wondrous unicorns will help to fully connect people to their higher selves or to their monads. This card comes to you as a gift and blessing from the unicorns. These enlightened ones connect to you through your chakra, your casual chakra. Take a moment to visualize the center like a shimmering silver white moon above the head invite a unicorn to step through it to you breathe deeply and open your heart knowing that one of these magnificent spiritual beings is coming to you sense its presence decide what qualities you would like to develop as you consider this know that your unicorn is touching you with his horn and lighting up those qualities in your aura relax as this happens, dedicate yourself as a portal of divine peace and love for the unicorn 
unicorns so that their pure light can constantly flow through you. I love this reading today, guys. And uh, I'm going to get going because it's Freedom Friday and I'm going to go outside and do something crazy. I hope everybody hung with me and I hope everybody enjoyed this. And I love everybody. And may every step in your journey be magical and just be you.